okay today the topic is concept of root locus already i have explained you the concept of stability you know very well uh, when a system is said to be stable already i have explained you clearly you know very well stability depends on the location of the closed loop poles i told you clearly we are determining the stability of the closed loop system stability does not depends upon the zeros it depends only on the poles and i told you the characteristic equation is nothing but 1 plus i am assuming that the system uh, is having negative feedback and this is the characteristic equation suppose if the system is unity feedback h of s is equal to 1 positive feedback means this in shape plus it becomes negative now the roots of the characteristic equation are nothing but the poles when a system is said to be stable already known to you for a bounded input you should get a bounded output then the system is said to be stable and we know very well for the system to be stable what is the condition already known to you this is the s plane you know very well s plane means this is the real axis and this is the imaginary axis so stability depends upon the location of the poles i told you clearly whenever the poles are located in the left half of the s plane i'm dividing into left half of the s plane and this is nothing but the right half of the s plane i told you clearly whenever the roots are located in the right half of the s plane the system will be unstable listen carefully whenever the poles are located in the right half of the s plane the system is unstable suppose if the poles are located in the left half of the s plane the system is stable whenever the roots are located on the imaginary axis also the system is stable but the condition is the root should not be repeated what is the meaning of a repeated root you know very well at the same point if we are having more than one root then in that case suppose at a particular suppose this is called as a simple pole suppose at the same point if we are having more than one root then then i am saying that the roots are repeated in that case the system is unstable so now you know very well for the system to be stable where the closed loop pole should be located in the left half of the s plane or even along the imaginary axis also the system is stable but i am saying that the condition is the root should not be repeated on the imaginary axis only this repeated roots condition is required only along the imaginary axis then whenever the roots are in the right side uh, the system will be always it is unstable when you, whenever a system is unstable you cannot call it as a control system only stable systems you have to call them as control systems remember that point that is why we are checking always whether the system is stable or not or whether the system is a control system or not control system is what the meaning it is possible to control the output of the system by giving some input to the system now see here so this is the characteristic equation of a system so s square plus 5s plus 6 is equal to 0 now i want to know the stability of the system please remember if you 
determine the roots or this can be written as s plus 2 into s plus 3 is equal to 0. Listen my dear students, in this case where the poles are located, please carefully observe. I am sketching the pole 0 diagram. So, where the poles are located in this case is one pole located at minus 2, other pole is located at minus 3. Both the poles are located in the left half of the S plane. So, the system is stable. So, the system is stable. Okay. Now, see the second characteristic equation. In this case, s square plus 5s plus k. So, now assume that this k is not a constant and k is varied from 0 to infinite. Listen carefully what I am saying. k is not a constant, k is varied from 0 to infinite. Now, think about what will happen when k is equal to 0. Please see my dear students, think about when k is equal to 0, where the poles are located. Carefully see here, when k is equal to 0, one pole located at origin and the other pole is located at minus 5. So, what is the stability of the system? I told you clearly, the system is marginally stable. Please listen what I am saying that the system is marginally stable. Now, what will happen when k is equal to 6? When k is equal to 6, already same as above. What is the characteristic equation is? S square plus Pi s plus 6 is equal to 0. So, in this case, one pole located at minus 2 and other pole is located at minus 3. So, what I am saying is the system marginally stable. Like that, for each and every value of k, I am checking the stability. Listen carefully, when k is equal to 0, marginally stable. When k is equal to 6, stable. Like that, what is the variation of k? Please remember the most important point is k is varied from 0 to infinite. Now, I want to know uh, the stability of the system for all positive values of k. Later, I will tell you about k, about k, what is this k? Uh, just I am giving you an idea, k is nothing but a proportional controller. Later, one topic is there, PID controllers, proportional, integral and derivative controllers. Practically, proportional controller is nothing but an amplifier and what K represents is the gain of the amplifier. So, I want to know when the gain of the amplifier is varied from 0 to infinite, what is the stability of the system? So, now see here. Okay, so what I am saying is that K represents the gain of the amplifier. So, remember, sometimes even the questions also it will be given. So, K represents the gain of the amplifier. So, in root locus, this K is varied from 0 to infinite. Now, I want to know where the roots are located uh, for all values of k. That is nothing but the root locus diagram. So, please remember my dear students, root locus is nothing but the roots of the characteristic equation when k is varied from 0 to infinite. When you join all those points, that is called as the locus diagram. See the definition root locus is the 
locus diagram of the roots of the characteristic equation when the variable parameter k is varied from 0 to infinite. So, suppose if there is no variable parameter in the characteristic equation, it is impossible to sketch the root locus diagram. So, this root locus diagram, you have to sketch it on a graph sheet by changing the value of k from 0 to infinite where the roots are located. Roots of what? Characteristic equation. What are the roots of the Cauchy equation are called as poles. So, I want to know the poles, closed loop poles when k is varied from 0 to infinite. Now, I am taking an example. I want to explain the concept with the help of an example. Now, see here. In this case, what k represents is the gain of the amplifier. This is a amplifier. Now, I am assuming that it is a negative feedback system. So, now what is the open loop transfer function? You know very well. What is the open loop transfer function is equal to these two are multiplied k by s plus 10. So, this is g of s. It is called as open loop transfer function. Now I want to know what is the closed loop transfer function. You know very well what is the closed loop transfer function is equal to g of s divided by 1 plus g of s. So what is the characteristic equation? This denominator is called as I want to know the closed loop poles. I told that the roots of this numerator are called as zeros and the roots of the denominator are called as poles. So, I want to know where these poles are located or I want to know what is the characteristic equation. What is the formula for characteristic equation already many times I told you 1 plus g of s divided by 0. As a shortcut method, always remember this open loop transfer function. This is the numerator and this is the denominator. So, what is the Hertz equation is nothing but denominator plus numerator. Because how quickly I am doing that is more important for me. So, the numerator, denominator plus numerator. So, that means what is the characteristic equation? So, what is the characteristic equation? So, what is the characteristic equation is equal to S plus 10 plus K is equal to 0. This is nothing but the characteristic equation. Now, there is a variable parameter. What is that variable parameter is nothing but K? Repeatedly, I am telling K represents the gain of the amplifier. Now, the gain of the amplifier is varied from 0 to infinite. I want to know what is the root locus diagram. Please remember my dear students. Now, I am explaining the concept. Only this is the concept. What I am giving you the concept. This is the S plane. Now, see my dear students. So, where the Pole is located. When k is equal to 0, please see, listen carefully. When k is equal to 0, where the pole is located is at minus 10. Carefully observe what I am saying is. When k is equal to 1, where the pole is located, where the pole is located is at minus 11. When k is equal to 10, where the pole is located is at minus 20. When k is equal to 100, where the pole is located is at minus 110. Now, like this you can easily think, 
when k is varied from zero to infinite how the closed loop pole is moving it is always located in the left half of the s plane so the pole is located always in the left half of the s plane so that means system is stable for all values of k please reason my dear students system is stable for all values of k then we are saying that the system is absolutely stable please listen the conclusions are because whatever be the value of k closed loop pole is always located in the left half of the s plane so what i am saying is that system is stable for all values of k the system is stable for all values of k or i am saying that the system is absolutely stable so this statement is more important whenever the system is stable for all values of k we are saying that the system is absolutely stable now look here in this case the open loop transfer function i have taken another system and again i am assuming that the system uh, is having negative feedback carefully think about first what is the open loop transfer function and then what is the characteristic equation please look here carefully so what is the open loop transfer function these two multiplied both are connected in cascade k by s minus 20 i told you this is the numerator and this is the denominator so what is the characteristic equation i want the stability of the closed loop system not open loop system so closed loop system stability depends upon the roots of the cauchy equation closed loop poles so denominator plus numerator so s minus 20 plus k is equal to 0 again k is the variable parameter this number k is the variable parameter now uh, i want to know where the closed loop poles are located for various values of k now look here once again i am writing it here for convenience s minus 20 plus k is equal to 0. Okay. Now, see here where the closed loop pole is located for various values. When k is equal to 0, please think about my dear friends. When k is equal to 0, where the closed loop pole is located is at 20. root is located in the right half of the s plane when k is equal to 1 where the root is located is at 19 what is the stability system is unstable when k is equal to 10 where the pole closed loop pole is located is at 10 still the system is unstable when k is equal to 20 where the pole is located is at origin. So, when k is equal to 20, what is the stability of the system? You know very well what is the stability of the system is marginally stable because what is the margin for stability is nothing but imaginary axis. So, system marginally stable. One thing you remember marginally stable system is also a stable system. So, when k is equal to 10, what is the stability of the system? Pole is located in the right half of the s plane. So, the system is unstable. When k is equal to 1, 
system is unstable now see my dear students what will happen when k is equal to 30 substitute k is equal to 30 where the pole is located is at minus 10 so in this case what is the stability system is stable when k is equal to 100 where the pole is located where the pole, where the pole is located is equal to system stable now see carefully think my dear students what is the stability system is not stable for all values of k please carefully observe 0 to 10 please think over my dear students 0 to 10 what is the stability of the system sub so, 0 to 20 0 to 20 when k is varied from 0 to 20 the system is unstable why it is unstable is because the poles are located in the right half of the s plane so what will happen when k greater than 20 system is stable so that means system is not stable for all values of k for some values of k the system is stable and for some values of k the system is unstable so in this case what is the st statement i should give so whereas in the previous case i told that system is stable for all values of k so what is the statement i have given is system is absolutely stable but in this case system for certain values of k the system is unstable certain values of k the system is stable so in this case what is your the answer we should give is system is conditionally stable listen what i am saying is system is conditionally stable then what is the condition for stability what is the condition for stability is k should be greater than 20 so remember 0 to 20 it is unstable please remember my dear students so i am saying that system the system is stable only for certain values of k so what is the answer answer is conditionally stable so what is the answer is system is conditionally stable whenever the system is conditionally stable you should specify what is the condition for stability in this case clearly observe 0 to 20 unstable 20 uh, marginally stable k okay? greater than 20 the system is stable because the closed loop poles are located in the left side 0 to 20 poles are located in the right side so what is the condition for stability is k should be greater than or equal to 30. so this is the condition for stability so the condition for stability now i hope that you got an idea next case okay. again i have taken some system and i am assuming that it is having positive field. is having positive feedback now see here what is the open loop transfer function and what is the characteristic equation listen here what is the open loop transfer function g of s g of s is equal to k by S minus 10. Then what is the characteristic equation? See my dear students, what is the feedback? It is positive feedback. 
in the previous cases what the feedback have taken is negative feedback positive feedback means what the characteristic equation you know very well 1 minus g of s is equal to 0 this is the numerator and this is the denominator in this case what is the characteristic equation is nothing but denominator minus numerator is equal to 0. So, that means what the catch equation is? So, whenever a question is given, first carefully write the characteristic equation, then only have to think about the question is considered. Because for positive feedback, what happens? Negative feedback, what happens? You have to think. Now, see here, in this case, what will be the root purpose diagram? So, catch equation is okay. Now I want to sketch the root locus. Okay, see my dear students what happens in this case. When k is equal to 0, where the closed loop pole is located is at 10 and system unstable. When k is equal to 1, pole located at 11. Just see this category. When k is equal to 10, Pole located at 20. System unstable. When k is equal to 100, where the pole is located is at minus 1. Sorry. Where the pole is located is at 110. So, when k is equal to 1, k is equal to 10, k is equal to 100, for all values of k, what is happening is system is unstable. Please remember because the root locus is always located in the RHS. So, in this case, system is unstable for all values of k. So, what I am saying that system is simply unstable. I am writing the conclusion. The system is unstable for all values of k. Remember that point. So, that means simply what I am saying that the system is unstable. So, whenever a question is given, what you have to think? Please, now I am giving you the once a question is given in this topic, total three statements, absolutely stable, unstable and conditionally stable. Whatever be the question in root locus, your answer should be absolutely stable, unstable or conditionally stable. When you will say that the system is absolutely stable, see this diagram, system is for stable for all values of k. The meaning is that for all values of k, the roots are located in the left half of the s-plane. So, remember, whenever the root locus is always in the left side, your answer should be absolutely stable. Now, see here, in this case, root locus always in the right. Just I joined all the points. The Whenever the roots are located always in the right side or whenever the root locus is always in the right side, system is unstable.
then what happens in the previous case in this case if you observe what is the root locus what is the important point is root locus partly in the left side and partly in the right side please see what i am saying is so root locus partly in the right side partly in the left side whenever the root locus is partly in the right side and partly in the left side your answer should be conditionally stable and you should specify the condition for stability in this case see observe i have given you clearly what is the condition stable what is the condition for stability is k should be greater than or equal to 20 so think about my dear students what is the analysis is considered now now i'm taking another case also what is that another case i'm taking is i am assuming that this feedback is positive this question early i discussed in the feedback is negative now what will happen in this case when the feedback is positive please see my dear students carefully what is the open loop transfer function what is the open loop transfer function is nothing but K by s plus ten. Then, what is the closed loop transfer function? Listen carefully. What is the closed loop transfer function? I told you this is nothing but the numerator and this is the denominator. What is the characteristic equation? You know very well. Positive feedback means what is the characteristic equation? Is nothing but one minus g of s is equal to zero. Or denominator, or denominator minus numerator is equal to zero. So what is the characteristic equation? Please see my dear students. What is the characteristic equation? Is nothing but s plus ten minus k is equal to zero. So this is the characteristic equation. Now I want to know what will happen in this case. So what is the characteristic equation? Is nothing but s plus ten. Minus k is equal to zero. My dear students, now think about the stability of the closed loop system. The, these are the roots of the Cauchy equation. These are nothing but the poles of the closed loop system. Now think about it. Now see here. now look here when k is equal to 0 where the pole closed loop pole is located is at minus 10 when k is equal to 1 where the closed loop pole is located is at minus 9 okay when k is equal to 5 where the closed loop pole is located is at minus 5 For all these values, stable. When k is equal to 10, where the closed loop pole is located is at origin, so the system is marginally stable. So then, what will happen when k is equal to 20? Please see, my dear students. When k is equal to 20, where the pole is located is now at plus 10, the system is unstable. Why the system is unstable is because the closed loop pole is located in the right half of the is plain when k is equal to 100 where the closed loop pole is located is at 90 so the system is unstable now what is the conclusion by observing this diagram what is the conclusion system is not stable for all values of k for certain values of k the system is stable and for certain values of k unstable then in that case what is the answer the answer should be conditionally stable please listen my dear friends answer is conditionally stable
then what is the condition for stability please see my dear students when k is varied from 0 to 10 the system is stable then 10 to 100 what is the system stability please think about my dear students what about the system is unstable So think about what is the condition for stability. What is the condition for stability is zero to ten. System is stable. Otherwise, the system is unstable. This is the condition for stability. One important point, my dear students, when k is equal to zero, what is the stability? we see my dear students when k is equal to 0 system will not exist at all because for the open loop transfer function becomes is 0 or the closed loop transfer function also becomes 0 that means the system is not at all existing when k is equal to 0 when the system is not at all existing there is no meaning in discussing the stability of the system so whenever we are talking about the stability of the system so you have to uh, uh, Don't consider k is equal to zero. Without k is equal to zero and k is equal to infinite, only you have to talk about stability. But as a root of the Cauchy equation, I have taken that point. But the, when it comes to the stability of the system, so don't say the system stability when k is equal to zero and also when k is equal to infinite. So the system is stable only between zero to ten. When k is equal to ten, again I am saying system is marginally stable. when k greater than 10 the system is unstable system is unstable and one more thing is that the so like this i did the analysis i am able to sketch the root locus diagram very easily because the first order equation but the problem is that what happens if it is second order third order fourth order determining the roots for each and every value of k will be very very difficult to overcome this problem we are using certain rules please remember what i am saying that we are using certain rules so using these rules it is possible to sketch the root locus diagram and also we can determine the stability of the system repeatedly i am telling once a question is given on root locus your answer should be absolutely stable unstable or conditionally stable these are the only three statements you have to use once a numerical problem is given repeatedly i am telling k represents the gain of the amplifier and i am assuming that the gain of the amplifier is varied from 0 to infinite that is the most important point in root locus is considered so how those rules were derived and that analysis i am going to give in a detailed manner in the next lecture please remember that point so already we have to sketch the root locus diagram on a graph sheet remember that point so you have to join all the points when k is varied from 0 to infinite see the diagram i joined all the points when k is varied from 0 to infinite so this one so like that uh, you have to do the analysis once a numerical problem is given absolutely stable unstable or conditionally stable suppose if there is no variable parameter in the characteristic equation what should be your answer all i told in concept of stability if there is no variable parameter in the characteristic equation first thing is that it is impossible to sketch the root locus like what i have given in the beginning so suppose in this case it is impossible because there is no variable parameter or there is no amplifier uh, uh, in that case uh, in that case what is the stability your answer should be stable unstable or marginally stable when the roots are located in the left side stable right side unstable when the what is the margin for stability what is the margin for stability is nothing but imaginary axis whenever the roots are located on the imaginary axis the answer is marginally stable so is there variable parameter or no variable parameter final conclusion no variable parameter means stable 
unstable or marginally stable if there is a variable parameter your answer should be absolutely stable unstable or conditionally stable so this is the introduction to root locus diagram then what are the rules how those rules were framed and how to sketch the root locus diagram and how to sketch it on a graph sheet in the further lectures i am going to explain in a very detailed manner thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates